Hey guys, Chaz Pippett from Baseball Rebellion, and for this uh, Father's Day edition of Baseball Rebellion Swing Breakdowns, I'm going to look at Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey Jr. on the day they went back-to-back -back home runs in the big leagues, the only time that's ever happened from a father and son. Um, so what you're going to notice from Ken Griffey Sr. is that he still gets some decent opening of his pelvis before his shoulders really start to engage. Now, one thing that's really interesting in this video, I think, is kind of the older players tended to show a lot more of their back. So we can see his numbers right here. And because of that, he gets a lot of opening of the shoulder before he really starts his swing. Players of today are a little bit better as far as keeping their shoulder in line with the pitcher instead of super closed off like this and showing so much back, in my opinion. And that way they can get their front hip out of the way a little bit better and show more belt buckle that you can see here even than uh, senior shows. And you can notice the extremely closed front foot and a pretty significant hinge at the hip, which is a little bit different than some of the power hitters today uh, standing up a little bit taller. If you guys follow me on Twitter at all, you'll see me get into it occasionally with people who are constantly telling guys they need to lean over better. And I understand the idea about leaning over. Um, to, to hit the low pitch, but obviously I think that there's a little bit better way. What's interesting is he actually had to stand up straighter with his spine and actually get more side bend. So he had to come out of that hip hinge and bend his side so that he could get his barrel in line with his shoulders like he wanted to. Uh, and even on this outside pitch, being as old as Senior was in this video, having played, you know, over a dozen years in the big leagues already, you can see how little shoulder rotation he ended up getting. Now, part of that's because he's an outside pitch and he had to go get it. He was a little in front of him. He had to go reach for it a little bit. Whenever you reach with your arms, you're going to stop your shoulders. Um, but he ended up hitting this ball out anyway, which obviously was great. Now, one thing that it's a little bit hard to see is if you zero in right here in that box, you can see his back foot actually come off the ground and move. Now, it slides backwards behind him a little bit. And again, when you're hitting a backside pitch or an outside pitch and driving the ball like that, you know, you'll see some of the great hitters today kind of let their foot slide out as well. And, you know, this was this ball was, you know, hit hit the backside center field and Lofton made a run at it, but he couldn't get it. And then, you know, Griffey Jr. came up and, you know, a more traditional swing to what we see now. He's kind of doing some of the opposite things. He's getting a little bit lower. All right. Because this pitch was out and this was a long time. This is early in Griffey's career where he really had a close stride and really hit a lot like his father obviously before he kind of came into his own and you know he's obviously always talented but you can see how much of his of his uh, shoulder he shows and his back he shows how inward that shoulder is pointed but the good thing about Griffey is his in this video is really not very quality but you can see both his eyes are still at the pitcher a lot of guys when they close off they'll lose the ability to see the back with the pitcher with the back line so they lose some of the depth perception but as you can see he's way offline with his stride uh, which is which is to be expected way offline with his stride but he's still able to show a little bit more belt buckle because he's younger than his father and once he once he kind of got this pitch even though this pitch was a little bit lower Griffey extended beautifully and again you're going to see him stand up taller and have more side bend so that he can get on line just like his father did and drive this ball what was interesting is while Griffey's obviously the much better athlete a much better player um, his back foot actually slid back and he hadn't really gotten to the point where he was really bringing his back foot forward pretty consistently like he ended up doing a little bit later in his career um, you know with the Reds but you know early on for a young kid go back to back with your dad I can't imagine what that felt like for for Ken Griffey Sr. and for Ken Griffey Jr. I'm sure that's something they think about frequently uh, and, and Jr. hit his just a little bit further so you know just imagine that feeling from Griffey Sr. watching his son hit a home run in the same game as he did. I mean, I, I just can't. I can't imagine that as somebody with a three-year-old son turned three this past weekend and, uh, you know, just had another Father's Day. You know, that's it's really cool. I'd like to thank MLB.com, uh, Advanced Media, for that video. Um, but obviously there's some some things that we can see from both senior um, that, that they could you could obviously do better but this was really the style back then I mean really keeping your foot closed really extension based you know a lot of hip hinge but what people don't really realize is there was just a ton of a ton of guys who hit like this but what you don't see is what they turn into they turn into that hinge action 
they get out of the hinge action and they stand up into side bend and that's just a more powerful position. It recruits a lot more musculature in the back, uh, upper back, lower back, lat, oblique, and they can really get a much more powerful hip thrust out of that position. So the thrust action is from the front hip here. You can see it extending up and out. And that's what we see from a lot of elite hitters um, once they really start to figure out how to use as much power as they can. And that's why power develops a little bit later for some guys because they've got to figure out, okay, how do I fall into the front side? How do I get a bent front knee? How do I hip hinge and come out of hip hinge? How do I side bend? How do I straighten my front leg well? You know, how do I do all these things? And this was a better pitch that Griffey Jr. hit than Griffey Sr. Um, and you can just see how springy he comes out of this move. I mean, back foot is coming up and around. I mean, he's trying to get into a more athletic position the whole time he's swinging. And, you know, he ends up finishing his swing a little late. Back foot comes around a little late, but he still has that beautiful low finish where the shoulder comes almost all the way through, drops his bat right on the ground, ready to run uh, when all he really needed to do was jog. So um, again, Griffey's foot does work back behind him a little bit differently in this swing than I'm used to seeing him do. Uh, but again, that big lean over here was extremely common for hitters of this era and early in, early in Griffey's career and obviously the hitters of uh, Griffey Sr.'s era. I mean, this was how most guys hit. I mean, you can see Pete Rose and George Brett and guys like that all bent over like crazy. Um, it's just an interesting thing that I've noticed that that's changed over time in baseball as people have, you know, gone away from, from stances that were a little bit more stance-ish instead of athletic. Um, you know, now people are being more athletic and, and more powerful within their stance, in my opinion, more relaxed in their stance that allows them to use, you know, their loose muscles as fast muscles and allows them to recruit bigger muscles um, and using more, I guess, uh, advanced movements like side bend to get the barrel in the zone earlier instead of swing down, and extend down and through, which is more of a allow way to do things. But I definitely see some great stuff from both these hitters. I mean, obviously, you know, a home run in the big leagues is hard to do, but uh, doing it from a father son and, and this close to Father's Day, I just thought it would be a really fun breakdown. So, um, you know, pretty basic this week, but I hope everybody had a great Father's Day. And uh, from all of us to the great dads out there that coach little league teams and um, that play catch with their kids in the backyard and don't scream eight million things at them while they're in the batter's box. You know, happy Father's Day from us to you, and we hope you enjoyed uh, this Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey Jr. breakdown. Thanks again. This is Chaz Pippett from Baseball Rebellion. Happy Father's Day.